Okay, what the heck is even happening in Chainsaw Man anymore? After episode 7, I'm like, dog, what is going on here? Like, we've already seen some crazy stuff. We've seen devil battles. We've seen all sorts of insanity. But this episode took it in a completely different direction that I'm like, I don't know if I should be ranting or raving because it was insane to say the least. Now, of course, this episode takes place from where the last one left off with them being once again stuck on the 8th floor and Denji battling it out against what is it, the eternity devil the eternal devil and yeah that was about the first half of this episode just seeing people giving into the despair of feeling like yo we, we caught up in here there's no way out in fact i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna call a little bit of goddamn denji you you have a lot of stamina so to speak because he was fighting for a long time that damn devil like i believe it was at one given point pointed out that the whole thing with cole benny and how she started going nuts and stabbing on people happened three days ago as they're there laid up waiting for Denji to finish this thing off so was Denji fighting that thing for three days I mean I'd imagine he was eating their blood because he's telling hey yo this blood tastes like shit but basically it gives an idea into Denji's capabilities of again as long as he's continuously consuming blood he seemingly can keep going for a crazy amount of time because again three days hacking at that thing that is some feature to say the least considering the fact that we've seen when Denji fought what was it just that whole night of all of those zombie looking devils attacking him he already had to replenish and he passed out when he was with Makima after just one night now he's doing it for three days but again you could throw in the idea that yo he was just consuming endless amounts of this devil's blood but there was more to this episode like I feel like this is the type of episode that really makes you fall in love with the characters and feel like you know these characters from the dramatic parts of everybody again being in absolute despair waiting for Denji to finish up even Denji being in despair as he's here in this endless battle all the way to the second half of the episode where they're lounging and drinking and having a good time it really starts to dive into who these people are as a whole even the characters that are a little younger than everybody else like Denji that's only 16 you get to see a camaraderie with them you get to see the ins and outs of them when they're not on the big heavy mission and that's something that differentiates Chainsaw Man from a lot of other series because one it also feels like you know this little older type of vibe like hey after work everybody's going and getting a beer right this isn't like going to the juice shack so to speak it feels like you're getting some legitimate detective work in a way but again it's people hunting devils and doing insane stuff and let's talk about that conversation between Kishi Bay and Himeno that flashback of Kishi Bay breaking it down of how basically in order to be a really good devil hunter the best you gotta be a little low-key crazy you gotta be a little bit missing screws because even a devil don't want to fight against somebody that they can't predict even a devil can't rock with the crazy crazies so to speak so that's kind of almost a given if you're a devil hunter especially going after the gun devil himself which is seemingly becoming either the biggest threat of the series or the biggest threat we have thus far yeah you kind of gotta have a little bit of screws loose and it also dives into this guy again Kishibe which I don't know the anime his design even more so gives him a little bit of swag like in the manga he looks for the most part the same but there's something about the anime that brings to life Kishibe as a character he kind of looks like you can't tell if he's older or an older dude trying to look younger with the earrings and stuff like that shout outs to the anime really bringing this character to life but you could definitely see that he's worried to a certain degree about Aki and even though it feels like to a certain degree because of how strong he is Aki is like you know the big dude it reminds us that Himeno is his superior and Kishibe wants Himeno to keep everybody in line and make sure everyone's good so just that whole encounter really is demonstrating and building up even though we're in the midst of a battle right there that yeah there's more to come and this is going to be a very big problem with this gun devil because people are obsessed with it and then finally cutting from the first half of the episode where Denji finishes off that devil chops it down and we cut to the aftermath and the fiesta so to speak Denji getting his big reward in the form of a little bit of tongue action which I'm still here like dog he just slayed all this stuff just to potentially get some sort of kiss I'm like talk about down bad there's down bad and there's down Denji and I think that right now we was down Denji
But nevertheless, we get to this whole party, and it seems as though prior to that, Himeno and Aki were talking like, yo, maybe we could get some of the truth out of Makima about this whole Denji situation and everything going on if we have some drinks for her. So let's bring her out, see if we could get to the bottom of what is her quote-unquote obsession with Denji, so much so that she used to travel all the time. Ever since Denji arrived, she's staying stuck in Tokyo. She's not dipping for any reason. So yeah, let, let, let's get to the root of it, and that was my favorite part of the episode like you have the action part of the episode the first half denji fighting all of the despair them you know looking like they're dying himeno power kobeni everybody just completely out and then we're getting them all festive in there and let's talk about kobeni for a second because i got into a lot of trouble last week so much so where twitter was trying to cancel you lad stop me if i'm wrong was or was not kobeni extremely crazy and out of control last episode so, right she tried to stab people she ended up stabbing Aki she was a, a little bit of a nut job and one of the things that she said a little prior to all those events was I had two choices it was either be sex worker or hunt devils if you're to the point of losing your mind and stabbing people and not wanting any of this I don't know maybe if I was in those shoes I probably would have said the other one is terrible as well but you know considering this is a fictional story probably would have gone with that and I mentioned something like that over on twitter and people took it as if i was attacking a real person i was hurting their feelings so much so that taking that out of context people made sure that yeah there's a kobeni brigade of you can't say anything about kobeni because you're talking about a real person now and it was hilarious to see kobeni go from that irate nut job that she was last episode stabbing people to the most humble and you know adorable cutesy girl in this episode and even a little couple secrets there like she didn't want to say her devil contract which was smart Aki said yo he was telling Denji but nevertheless hey don't tell out your devil contract in public we don't know who's around or whatnot but I was just there like really Kobeni really you're gonna act extra innocent in this episode to make me look more bad even though you were stabbing dudes last episode no you was going bonkers no you was ready to drink out of the goddamn toilet so yeah just had to put out my Kobeni frustrations thank you Twitter for taking me out of context and making me look nuts even though the girl that's stabbing people and yeah, she's a little... But the reward for Denji is incoming as Himeno tells him, I'm a little bit embarrassed of doing that. Let me have a few more drinks in me before we take it to that next level, so to speak. And I give you your reward. And I'm there like, dog, this feels like legitimately a real world adult situation. I've been in not necessarily that situation, but I've been in scenarios like that. So it was really, I don't know. I felt I appreciated just seeing a more mature atmosphere in a more mature setting. And it Always reminds me that damn they really let this one fly and shonen jump huh this is really supposed to be a shonen jump battle series meanwhile i'm like dog i'll take this anime right here the second half of this episode i'll take that as an anime itself <laughs> you know take the devil stuff out of it it was just so good seeing denji's reaction and response to makima being right in front of himeno as himeno's like yo so we gonna kiss or what and makima there oh what kiss T tell me about this kiss and denji's there like damn i want both of them i want her mouth and i want her period like what what do I do? And the gods delivered the unthinkable. I'll never forget reading this in the manga, but watching it in the anime, it hit just as disgusting, just nasty. This is probably the most, no, this has to be the most disgusting episode of anything I've ever watched because finally Denji is rewarded with the kiss because Himeno took enough booze, so to speak, and yet it, god damn, can I even say this? It, ugh. Himeno throws up in Denji's mouth from being so freaking drunk and yeah oh god it was so disgusting them talking about I believe it was power like Denji will eat anything with nutrition and we get the flashback of him when he was little in the slums and he was there talking shit about who would he throw up and stuff and oh god it was so disgusting and it was really demonstrated just how bad this situation was seeing Denji there crying and throwing up in the toilet again this isn't your Naruto One Piece Bleach Black Clover my hero academias this is something that is in the same magazine with them has rubbed elbows with them or was because now chainsaw man is jump plus but it was in the same magazine different ball game altogether and if all of that wasn't enough to sell you on the fact that this is you know what i'm saying way more mature than all that the end of the episode because he meant oh takes off carrying Denji drunkenly into the crowd and leaving and we're like yo what's going on Denji wakes up he's in an apartment he's like water water I thought I was watching Fist of the North Star for a second <laughs> 
But he wakes up in this room and sees Jimeno in her PJs, I guess you would say. And yeah, she's drunk and trying to, um, yeah. Gotta be very careful with this one. You know how people take stuff out of context, even though we're talking about a fictional character, fictional stories from a anime cartoon. But yeah, Jimeno offers him, yo, dog, how about we go all the way? And I know Denji's there right now. Wait a minute. <clears throat> So I'm trying to get over the fact that I just had puke in my mouth. I was throwing up. Basically, I'm kind of hungover in a weird way. And you want to do it and you're drunk above all else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really consent to what is Denji going to do next episode? This is a slippery slope right here because it could go a couple different ways. If he does go the whole way, people are going to say, Oh, Denji, you disgusting creep. She was drunk. And if he doesn't go all the way, his horny mind is going to take control of him him even more but honestly this episode of chainsaw man it's different different breed you get one half it feels like yeah you know shown in devils <laughs> then the second half is like this adult situation of two girls coming after dude and barfing oh god one of the most disgusting episodes but yet again one of the most pivotal episodes if you want to fall in love with the chainsaw man verse in particular the chainsaw man cast of characters this is the episode it just gives you all of the foibles and everything it makes you feel like you're talking about real world people even though, again, gotta stress, these are fictional characters that we're talking about in an anime. But I'm definitely curious what you guys think about this whole situation. I guess for starters, how do you think Makima feels about Denji leaving off with Himeno? Better yet, blocking lips and tongue kissing with Himeno in front of her. You think she's hurt by it? You think she doesn't care? Uh, your thoughts on power? Yo, dog, power? I ain't gonna lie. It was a very small moment. But when she was just laughing there at Denji getting vomited into the mouth, I was like... Oh, you're terrible. You're like that friend that, you know, you love them to death, but something bad happened to you and they're laughing up a storm and... <sighs> Your thoughts on Himeno's conversation with Kishibe and your real thoughts and expectations for Chainsaw Man with episode 8 and beyond. This episode was disgusting, nasty, and I loved it. I'm Fennep World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Subscribe and hit that bell to get more. Yeah! Oh my god, so nasty, dog. It was uh, absolutely deliciously gross. Yeah, is that a combo? I don't know. Yeah, have an awesome day. <laughs>